Not social distancing. No, you're not. one town in the entire world that uh, always draws us back. And that's for good reason. But there was always one building here that I would always walk by on the boardwalk and just stare at yeah. it and be fixated on it because I never went inside. Yeah. And that is the Bonanza Saloon. What is Bonanza? That they just Does it have anything to do with beans? A portion of no. the basement. Okay. Bonanza. We'll get to the Bonanza in a second. I want to have a little fun out here because it's just the energy that you have when you come to Virginia City. Yeah, what are y'all yeah. ladies up to tonight? Can we do a dance? Yeah. All okay. right, Zach, flirting a little bit. I bet he's also going to flirt with ghosts. If you're in a saloon, you have to flirt with ghosts. And we have it a good old time. As we add it's just a normal thing for him to Virginia oh. City legacy. What brought us to the Bonanza <laughs> Saloon is not just the various businesses and people who once occupied this 180-year-old building. Oh, okay. But something else, All right. which is almost as old. Today, it's home to a uniquely tainted artifact known as the Suicide Table. And that women, in particular, are being attacked. Women, in particular, are being yeah. attacked. We're being set up for taking their customers away. Okay. Uh, I'm hearing about some dark stuff going on here, okay. some attacks, things like that. What do you think's uh, going on here? Luckily, the, the suicide table was saved. The, the suicide table? was heavily damaged all around the table. Suicide. And the table survived. Are you at all concerned about how the three previous owners all took their own lives and now you're the fourth owner? That's, that's Flipped a their own lives? And, and Is that what he, what he said? Answer. Took their own lives. That. Oh. Well, look at that, Zach. Whoa. Did you see that? Wow, daytime activity. Holy cow. Look yeah. at that. It's spiked. Look at this. It just spiked to like 20. Whoa. Dude, this just spiked see? so yeah. hard. There's no reason for that. There's is, no reason look for that. Look, are you looking at this? Yeah, look, look at None this. at all. That's, that's pegging too. It's got a second it. device. That's I got it on my phone. Hang thing. on. That doesn't ever do that. For... Zach, Can is that unusual? That? That is that's highly highly unusual. extremely unusual. Oh, yeah. I, I will tell just you this, hire a bunch of guys to come into your house and tell you that it's yeah. unusual. So but the thing I don't understand it is that they do this for a job, so... How are they still surprised when things like this happen? Like they, it, sp it probably spikes every time they're in a haunted location, right? Yeah, it's like when an exterminator goes into a house, he's not like, oh my God, this rat infestation is exactly. off the charts. It's like, yeah, this looks like a lot of rats. Yeah. Oh my God, is that a cockroach? Oh my God, I just found a, like, <laughs> that's what you're there for. There are so many cockroaches in here. That's actually the main reason why, why most of the time I I don't really buy it. They're too afraid. They're too afraid. Like if this is your job, you would just walk into the place and you would be like, "Yeah, we got a spike here. Okay. Uh, it started beeping uh, in the third room to the left. I heard a little girl voice, so maybe like check. Like you become more scientific and less yes emotional. And I think your emotions would actually be part of your scientific method. Like, got a crazy feeling, two tears were shed in the bathroom. Like, <laughs> two tears. I think this, and you would be calm about it because it's just your method. Uh, I thought of my mother in the kitchen. Exactly. Go there. I kind of wrote a sad poem uh, on the second floor and also there was magnetism. Like, this is how it goes, I think. I have yet to see that one on any show. I think this thing's